Hello, Ari. Thanks for your question. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people out there have that question. So it's always a great deal when a student asks a question because uh, it helps other people. So uh, you want to know when to use pointers and when not to use pointers. The general rule of thumb is that you want to use pointers if you have a large amount of data. And you don't want to pass all of that data around through your application, passing large amounts, large amounts. You just want to pass the address, the pointer to where that, that data lives. So it's like me saying, hey, that data lives over there. You know, and here's a ridiculous, silly example. But, you know, if, um, if uh, let's see, if I wanted to tell people about my house, I'd say, hey, my house is at this address. <laughs> I wouldn't like take my, go get my entire house and bring my house and say, look, <laughs> right? That'd be like too much data to move. <laughs> It'd be easier just to say, this is my address. Come by and see it. And so same with data. If you've got big amounts of data, use a pointer and, you know, just point to that data. That's one rule. And the other rule is if you want to change that data. So if you want to change the data, then use an address. So when we have an address, we're allowed to change data. And uh, let me show you how that works. I'm going to go to Golang Playground. And now let's create a funk. Change, I don't know, foo. And it will take a, a int and it will return. Let me see. No, it won't return anything. All right. And, uh, and then up here, we're going to have, we'll actually call this y. We'll have x colon equals 42. And then uh, we'll print out x. And then we will go foo x. We'll pass in 42. And then we'll thump print line x. And then inside here, we will say y colon equals 43. All right, so what's going to happen when this program runs? X, uh, we are declaring and assigning. Well, we're declaring that X is, a val is going to store a value of type int, and that that value is going to be 42. And we do that with the short uh, declaration operator, looking for the right word. It's going to print out 42. We're passing 42 in, which takes an int and uh, assigns it to the variable y, we are then going to say y is equal to 43, right? We're just giving it a different number. We can make the same number we want. I'm going to make it 1,000 and I'm going to make it 1. There we go. That, just so it's not um, 13. <laughs> just so it's not confused as an increment or something. So then we're making y equals 114. We're doing nothing with y. The program's not going to like that. So we're going to do y. Just print out y. And uh, then we come back up here, it's run, and we print out x, which will again be 42. So we're going to print 42, 114, 42. 42, 114, 42. However, if we say that this is going to take a pointer to an int, and that's a type, that's a type, a pointer to an int, and if we say that this is an address, right, so we're passing in the address of x instead of the value of x, we're passing in the address, and this is built to take in a pointer to an int, which is what's stored at that address. And then right here, we have that pointer to an int. And we're going to say the value, so that's just an address. And we can't assign 114 to an address. This is a pointer to an int. It's an address, right? That's the type. But if we put the operator here, and this is part of the type, that star. So a pointer to an int is a type, just like an int's a type, just like a string's a type. And, uh, and so that, that's how that pointer is, that star is used right there. It's part of the type. This star here is an operator, like plus, minus, whatever. It's an operator, it acts on something. So it's operating on this variable, which is a pointer to an int. And that operator says, well, at this address, at this address, I want to, I want to change the value, use the value. So we're saying here the value at that address, the value, we're saying the we're saying the value at this address is going to be 114. So now we're going to point out print out 114. But because we we've passed in the address here, and then we said the value at this, and we signed that address to y, and then we said that the value at this address is going to be 114. We've changed the value at that address, which is what x is 
it where where x is stored, where the value for x is stored, and it's also where the value for this this y uh, is storing the address there, which is why we could do it. All right, and then we print out 114. Oh, we'll print out 114. Well, we print out the address because that's what we asked right there, but that turned into 114. So we could print out the value there also by going like this. That'll be a little bit more clear. Give me the value at that address. So we passed the address. We said at this at this address, change the value, make it 114. We said this address, give me the value, and we print it out. Can't get it. <laughs> we print it out 114. And now x is 114. So we're able to mutate it. And that's what they call mutation. We're able to mutate the value at that address. Change it, mutate it, change it. Sometimes you'll hear immutable, not changeable. But if you want to mutate, you'll hear often with pointers. If you want to mutate a value, use a pointer. It's like, oh, great, that didn't help me. If you're just learning programming, you're like, what's mutate mean? <laughs> right? But you'll often hear that if you want to mutate a value at an address, use a pointer. So that's uh, the two rules for using pointers is you want to use it when you have large amounts of data to pass around. So you just pass around the address. Think of that house example. I don't want to carry my house over to show it to you. I'm just going to tell you where it's at with the address. And uh, if you have large amounts of data to pass around, use a pointer. And also, if uh, you want to mutate, if you want to change a value at an address location, use a pointer. I hope that helps.